Damn. Good deal. So we'll be tracking this stag for probably 40 minutes. Oh, we started from way over there, didn't we? On the other side of the creek. Just been weaving around, in and out. Most of the time we've had to wind up our bums, so I don't think we're going to get within the cooey of them. Yeah, we just got lucky, I think. Very lucky. Steel stopped just back there, probably seven metres, and started, I wouldn't say pointing, but yep, she could see him. She knew he was there, and I could just see his neck. So we slipped a shot through and dropped him on the spot. No complaints with that Belmont ammo, it sure does the trick. Body chops we've taken, it's mushroomed up bloody nice. So this one will have passed clean through. Yeah, we'll look, look, straight through his neck. Another typical cool Tauru scrubber though. Because I love that Dean Hardy suppressor. This is um sure takes the crack out of that out of that short barrel. You wouldn't be without it in this type stuff, especially shooting over the top of the dog. It's, um, yeah, it's bloody good. Excellent. Good deal. Well, howdy folks, we're in the Rohini's again this afternoon. Um, just lucky enough to get ourselves a spiker, thanks to steel. Um, just going to mention these um, suppressors that we're using on our 308s. Uh, made by Dan Hardy, just out of Palmerston North. Uh, excellent value, bloody well made. We've got one on, our, uh, one on both of our 308s. Um, this is this is quite a new one, but the one we've got on the other gun is uh, it'll be a couple of years old. Has missed a beat. She's banged and crashed and beaten around, been drowned a few times, and just keeps on going. So, if you're in the market for a good suppressor, look up Dan Harding Engineering. You can find them online. Value for money. All right, we're gonna get this boned out and get out here.